Hey y'all, it's your girl Tash 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 Shana, and I'm back with another motivational video. So today's video is about someone who throws a tantrum, 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 because they can't get their way or they can't control somebody. People will act out and lash out and play the victim role when they can't control somebody or run somebody life. They also will lie to you, give you false information so you then can make decisions or your next decisions for your life based off the false information they gave you because they want to control your life. They want you to be um, close to them so they can get what they want or they can continue to grow or act like they're growing through you. Um, so yeah, people would throw tincture tantrums and I, and I was one of them. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like I thought I was growing and transforming and being better and doing better. I thought I was, and I am, and I always have been, I've always been a person to change for the better or to try to transform for the better, but I didn't know how toxic I was and how controlling I was because I picked up these traits over time. These are traits that I learned. I didn't know how toxic and I didn't know how controlling I was until I got in a relationship where somebody truly, truly agape loves me, like unconditionally loves me. When somebody love you unconditionally, they're gonna show you tough love. There's no way you can be shown tough love or agape love or any type of love if the person is not caring about the quality of your life. So when you have somebody that is doing the wrong thing, hurting themselves, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual, if you love that person and you vibrate up here or you vibrate at the same place as them, it don't matter. If you love that person, you're not going to let that person keep doing things to their self that's hurting themselves. That's going to keep themselves stagnant, keep their self low, keep their self having to go back to the doctor every dang two months, keep their self um, not eating healthy, keep their self being in a negative mind frame. You can't allow them people to stay that way if you truly love them. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Show me what I'm not doing right. And being able to prove that it's messing me up has helped me grow and transform and step up in my healing process for myself. Because I was healing, but I wasn't healing fast enough. My healing process is has been taking a long time because I've been doing it by myself. But if you can have support from somebody who genuinely cares about the quality of your life, that will push you and help you heal you and help you grow beyond any other type of growth you could do. Yes, it all starts with self. Yes, you could grow yourself. But that support, <laughs> Y'all take for granted the support that you have because support from a person that literally cares about the quality of your life to help you see better, do better, be better, feel better, transform. That support right there, that's that's true love. That's that's real. That's super duper healing at a thousand times the speed. As super duper healing at a thousand times the speed because energies are um, intertwined or passed by or passed through ne uh, negative is attracted to the positive or whatever energy has to be conjoined conduit for it to be conducive for it to be moving for it to keep going and growing. So um, you can have one part energy, but it's not going to move like when you have two part energy. And all you need is a positive and a negative to make your energy flow. And people think that negative is a bad thing. It's not because we're all yin and yang. 
we're all yin and yang. We all have emotions. We all have high energy days. We all have low energy days. We all have different type of frequencies. So being positive is great. And being negative when you have to is great because you have to show people tough love. You need to check it the first time. And you you shouldn't do a negative, but sometimes, sometimes that's the way people have to hear things in order for them to grow. You have to grow. You have to change. You have to do better if you care about the quality of people's life. And you have to show them you care about the quality of their life. Don't stay stagnant. Don't stay down. Don't miss the signs that somebody really care about you because you feel like they coming at you with criticism. Constructive criticism is good. Y'all hear the Red Table Talk. Y'all hear Jada. I ain't saying she's the perfectest person in the world. But what I am saying is she confessing her sins and she's letting a lot of other people confess their sins or their situations or the things that they have done. And she's helping the world move forward and better with the information she's putting out there. Y'all better jump on board with these positive people so you can grow and change. If not, you're going to stay stagnant. So, yeah, for whatever it's worth, I love y'all and I hope y'all have a very beautiful, blessed day. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, and let me know what you've been thinking about my videos. I know they're super real. I know they're boring to some people, but for some people, this is life. For some people, this is energy. For some people, this is agape love. So, yeah. Mwah.